Hello everyone, welcome back to the AZ and Basic Mathematics channel. Our today's topic is adding fractions. Let's start with question one. We have a um, fraction two fifth plus three fifth. And um, we have a common um, denominator in both of these fractions. So we take a common factor as a five. So five divided by five equals one, one times two is equal two. So we bring along the signs, plus signs here, then do the same thing for the second fractions. Five divided by five is one, one times three is three. So we add the numerator, two plus three is five, and we bring along the denominators it is. So five divided by five is one. So our solution is one. Moving on to equation two, we have a fraction two third plus one third equal. So again, we have a um, a common denominator three. So we take a common denominator, a common factors of three. Three divided by three is one. One times two is two. So we move along the signs plus sign here and do the same thing for the second fraction. Three divided by three is one. One times one is one. We add the numerator together, 2 plus 1 is 3. We move along the denominator as it is 3. So 3 divided by 3 is equal 1. So our solution is 1. Moving on to question 3. We got 1 quarter plus 3 quarter. So we have again, we have a common denominator in these fractions. So we take a 4 as a common factors and then 4 divided by 4 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1. So we move along the plus signs, do the same thing for the second fractions. 4 divided by 4 is 1, 1 times 3 is 3. So and add the numerator together, 1 plus 3 is 4 and we bring along the, along the denominators 4. So we divide 4 by 4 which is equal 1. So our solution is 1. Let's move on to question 4. We have 3 sixths plus 1 sixth. So again, in this fractions, we have a common denominator 6. And so we take a 6 as a common factor. So 6 divided by 6 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. And we move along the plus sign here. We do the same thing for the second fraction. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So we add the numerator together. 3 plus 1 is 4. And we move along the denominator 6 as it is. Now, top and bottom is divisible by 2. So 4 goes into 2, 2 times, twice. And 6 goes into 2, 2 times. So our solution is 2 thirds. So, or we can also do, we can simplify the first fraction because top and bottom is divisible by 3. So, 3 goes into 3 once, 6 goes into 3 twice. So, we have half plus the second fraction as it is. So now we can answer this one, the simplified version. So since we, we don't have a common denominator here, what do we have to do is uh, to get a common factor. So to get a common factor, we, we multiply two, uh, the denominator. So 2 times 6 is 12. So now we've got a common factor of 12. So 12 divided by... 2 is 6, 6 times 1 is 6. So we do this, so we move along the plus sign, we do the same thing for the second fraction. 12 divided by 6 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2. So we add a numerator, 6 plus 2 is 8, and we move along the denominator as it is 12. Now both top and bottom is divisible by 4, so 8 goes into 4 two times 
and 12 goes into uh, 4 three times. So our solution is two thirds. Again, we have the same solution, but we didn't have a common denominator. So we have to make a common denominator by times, times then, time, by time and say, we have to times the um, denominators. Yep, moving on to question five. We've got four sevenths plus three sevenths. And again, we have a um, common denominator in both, in both of these fraction. So we take a seven as a common factor. Seven divided by seven is equal one, and one times is four is four. And we bring along the signs, the signs, and then do the same for the second in fraction. Seven divided by seven, one, one times three is, is three. And then we add the numerator, which is seven, and then bring along the denominator as it is, and seven divided by seven is equal one. So our solution is one. Moving on to question six. And we got one eight plus three eight. And again, we have a common denominator in both of these fractions. And we take an eight as a common factor, and then eight divided by eight is one, one time is one is one. Then we bring along the sign, then do the same thing for the second fraction. Eight divided by eight is one, one times three is, is three. So we bring three here. And then just add the add the numerator. It's four, one plus three, four, and then um, bring along the eight as it is. Now top and bottom is divisible by four, so four goes into four once, and then eight goes into four two times. So four divided by eight is a half. Moving on to question seven, we've got two ninths plus one ninth. Again, we have a common denominator in both of these fractions. We take a common factor as a nine, and then nine divided by nine is one. One times two is two, and bring along the sign again here, plus sign. Then do the same for the second equation. Nine divided by nine is one. One times is one is one. And then we add the numerator. 2 plus 1 is 3, and then bring along the 9 here as it is. Now, top and bottom is divisible by 3. 3 goes into 3 once, and the 9 goes into 3 three times. So, solution is 1 third. Moving on to question 8, we have 3 tenths plus 1 tenth. We have a common denominator in both of these fraction, fractions. So we take a common factor as a 10. So 10 divided by 10. Let me grab my pen. 10 divided by 10 is, is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. We bring along the signs and we do the same for the second fractions. 10 divided by 10. 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So we write one here, we add the numerator, 3 plus 1 is 4, and then we bring along the 10 as it is, and top 4 and 10 are divisible by 2, so uh, 4 goes into 2 2 times, and then 10 goes into 2 5 times, so our solution is 2 fifths. Moving on to question 9. We got one twelfth plus five twelfths, and we got a common denominator again here. So we take a common factor as a twelve, and twelve divided by twelve is one. One times one is one. Then we do the same for the second fraction. Twelve divided by twelve is one. One times five is five, and we add the add the numerator one plus 5 is 6, and we bring along the 12 as it is, then top and bottom is divisible by 6. So 6 goes into 6 once, and, and 12 goes into 6 two times. So 
our solution is a half. Moving on to our last question, question 10. 1 11th plus 3 11th. So again, we have a common denominator in both of these fractions, and we take a common factor as 11. So 11 divided by 11 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So and we do the same thing for the second fraction. 11 divided by 11 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. And we add both of the, in the numerator, which is 4, and then bring along the 11 as it is. Then we can't simplify any further than this, and this is our solution for 11. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.